Well, along with Chris, and this is my quick review. We're gonna go out and cut some stuff with it, put it to the test. We got an 18 volt reciprocating cordless, Ryobi, Sawzall, whatever you wanna call it. So I have been a Dewalt guy my whole life. These are about 15 years old and the batteries finally went bad and I need new ones, but they are 100 to 150. And honestly, I can't find one at the store right now. And I got all this right here for $99. So it doesn't really come with anything except the instructions. No battery. So everything looks good. It feels good. The weight is right. Actually feels better than the Dewalt one. But we need to see how it cuts. So always check the specials. This was $99 and they give you a free tool. They have different tools you can choose from. I happen to need this one. This is $79.99 if you buy it by itself. And notice it does not come with the battery tool only. So for a hundred dollars, I got this right here and you can't beat it. We'll talk about why right now. So the charger. So I went and charged them up and these are not the top notch batteries, but they're right under it. You can see that it's pretty freaking neat. This is the top notch battery right here. As far as I know, I bought it a few years ago. And they're gonna work the same. This one might last longer. I'm not 100% sure the difference, but I think I paid 129 for this. So the fact that we're getting two and a free Sawzall for 100 is insane. So a lot of people don't like Ryo because they buy a tool like this and it comes with the battery. And if it does, it's usually gonna come with this skinnier, cheaper battery. It's not that bad, but it's 18 volt, 1.3 amps or amp hour, whatever that is, I forgot. And then this one is four. So this is a way more powerful battery and you can tell the difference a lot on some tools. But some of these tools are designed around this battery and work perfect with it, like this standard screw gun. But for example, if we try to use this weak battery on the impact driver, it is not going to work and we're gonna have a horrible time. That is actually why I had to buy the bad boy battery right here because I had to drive about 53 three and a half inch screws. So on the mini skill saw, this one came with no battery. It will actually cut with this, but it can stall and get very annoying because you buy this one to make weird cuts. Well, at least I did, but we put the bigger bad boy batteries on it and this thing comes to life. Okay, so we know the saw is gonna work with the strong batteries, but in case you had to buy this and maybe a cheap battery, if it did come with it, we're gonna put it to the test with a cheap battery and review it like that. So it's got your little safety lockout. It's got the progressive trigger, meaning the more you hold it, the faster it goes. And it feels just like my Dewalt. So the saw did come with this basic wood cutting blade. It has this quick release right here. You just pop it open, works really, really good. And then tug on the blade, it's in there. So we're gonna test it cutting through a stud. Now this is 70 years old. All right, so we're almost through it. I just didn't wanna drop that little piece on the floor. Very impressive to do that with the weakest battery. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this thing actually feels better and cuts better than my cordless Dewalt. Not a corded Dewalt. I have one of those too, and that thing is a freaking beast. But right off of the bat, this one's lighter, it's more compact. I'm not gonna throw this away or anything, but definitely liking that one better. So we're gonna put the saw to the test with the regular cheap battery, and hopefully it'll make the cut. It should, but we're not expecting it to, so we got the battery an extra one right there that came in that kit now this is schedule 40 real thick stuff let's see and even with an electric sawzall with a diablo blade it still takes a few minutes to cut through this So since I've been filming, I got four minutes and 20 seconds on my phone. So it probably took three minutes to cut through that schedule 40. It might be thicker than schedule 40, but it's thick pipe, heavy pipe. 
and I actually needed to cut that in half. So we made one cut perfectly fine with that battery. We're gonna make another cut. It has another pipe like that. battery died all right so we're gonna use one of the batteries we got in the deal Look at that stuff. That pipe looks thicker than Schedule 40. First time using this thing, did a great job. That stuff we were cutting, that is not considered light use. That is pretty much heavy duty use, but we only made two cuts. Now I like this one better than my cordless Dewalt. But with this battery right here, it cuts just like my cord at Dewalt. So these batteries really are an improvement over whatever they had before. I love it. I love Ryobi for some reason. Everything they make here in 20 and 2021 has just been a really good product. But just remember what happened. We were using that cheap battery and it only lasted one and a half cuts. So you may have to invest in some of these batteries like this. But like I said, search for those deals. Two of these and a free Sawzall, $99, you can't beat it. So this thing gets 10 out of 10. I love it, love the weight of it. I like the color of it, everything. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.